Hello class, and today we are doing lesson 3.8, divide decimals by decimals. So this is very similar to the last lesson, but previously we were dividing decimals by full numbers. However, there's only one thing that we need to take into consideration. So I want you guys, we're gonna do a warm up together. A game of Among Us has 36 tasks that are split between nine crewmates. How many tasks does each crewmate have to do? So perfect, Jack says by knowing it that the answer is four. So each crewmate has to do four tasks. What we did is we split 36 into nine groups and we found out that was four. So if 36 divided by nine is equal to four, what is 36 divided by 9 tenths? What do you think 36 divided by 9 tenths is? So many of you guys took the guess that it was 0 and 4 tenths, which seems accurate because you go, oh, here, you know, like it's a 0 and 9 tenths, so we think it's 0 and 4 tenths. But it's actually not. Harut, what is it? So we put it right here and we see it like that. But remember the rule I told us yesterday in the video? The rule in the video yesterday is that the divisor cannot have a decimal. This is our divisor. It cannot have a decimal. I have to get rid of the decimal. I'm gonna get rid of the decimal by bunny hopping one way that way. But math is always fair. So what do you think I'm gonna do to my dividend then? Lennox, what am I gonna do to my dividend? You can't have a decimal as a divisor. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you can take the zero and put it to the other side. Jack, what do you say? What do we do now? Well, I well, I say that um, you should make it 360. Yes. And nine. So we do and the same jump. Whatever we do to the divisor, we do that jump to the dividend. Perfect. And Harut said the same thing. And then in the chat, I want to give credit to the people in the chat who wrote the answer. We have the people who wrote it being Harut, Lior, Alexandria, Anna Jolene, Damar. We have Emma, Mariah. We have Jack, Nathan, and Lennox. Because 9 goes into 360 40 times. It goes into 30, it goes into 30 times. It goes into 36 four times as I'm messing up. That's zero. But I still have that extra zero. It goes into zero, zero times. So in your math book, I want you to fill these out. And I want you to fill these out almost as quickly as you can by using context clues from the problems above it. Lennox, what is 36 divided by nine hundredths? Exactly. Anna Jolene, what is 36 divided by 9 thousandths? Um, wait, which one are we on? Oh, um, 4,000. 4,000. Lior, what is 36 divided by 9 ten thousandths? 40,000. 40, Excellent. Let's see. Emma, what is uh, 3 and 6 tenths divided by 9 equal to? Excellent, she said it academically too. We get four tenths. Let's see, I want for this one, I would like, uh, Elias, what is 36 hundredths divided by nine? Elias, 36 hundredths divided by nine. Perfect, we see it's 0 0.04 or four hundredths. Samantha, what is 36 thousandths divided by nine? 0 0.004 or 4 thousandths. Jaden, what is 36 ten thousandths divided by 9? Can I skip on this one? Zero. Zero, zero, wait. Mm-hmm. 0.0004? Yes, perfect. Great job. So then let's see, these ones are a little bit harder. We've got Three and six tenths divided by nine tenths, we get four. So for the next one, 
Let's see. Lior, what do we get for the next one? 36 hundredths divided by what is equal to 4? 0 0.09. Perfect. 9 hundredths. What about the next one, David? What is 36 thousandths divided by what equals 4? Zero, zero, 0.09. Perfect. 9 thousand zero point zero zero nine Nathan what about the last one what is 36 ten thousandths divided by what equals four um, is it zero point, point zero 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 nine yes perfect job you guys so do you notice a pattern here do we notice a pattern going on let's look back at this Notice that with these bottom ones, I moved my decimal here, I moved my decimal here. It's that whole same thing. When I move it back one, I move it back one, we get that same answer. I move it, all of these, wherever it is, I can make it so they all look the same. 36, nine, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So notice that just by moving the decimals, we're getting all of the same answers. We see a pattern here. We notice this pattern. Here is the division with decimal rules. The divisor cannot have a decimal. So you have to bunny hop it to the right. You bunny hop the dividend decimal the same amount. The same amount. So make sure you write this down. So I want you guys to do these problems. We're going to do the first one together. So when I set this up, who can tell me by raising their hand which number goes inside the house? Which number goes inside the house? What do we think? Jack, which number goes inside the house? 1 and 71 hundredths or 1.71. Perfect. 1 and 71 hundredths and or 1.71. So the 0 0.9 or the 9 tenths goes outside the house. And as we know, we are not allowed to have a decimal for the divisor. So I got to move it. I'm gonna move this one. Wait, am I allowed to have a decimal in my dividend? Am I allowed to have a decimal in the one inside the house? Yeah, I am. So I just carry that decimal straight up. I just carry that decimal straight up. Lennox, how many times does nine go into 17? Um, nine goes into 17 one time. That's nine. We subtract, what do we get? Eight. We bring down our one. How many times does nine go into 81? Well, the decimal is just right there. It stays up. Yeah. And then we get zero. Perfect, you guys. Perfect. So I want you guys, we're going to do this one. Jonathan, which number goes inside the house? Um, the, the 2.64. Yeah, 2 and 64 hundredths. So our 6 tenths goes outside. How many times am I going to have to bunny hop? For the that divisor. Um, twice? I'm one time? Yeah, one time. We move it over one time. So I'm going to move this one also over one time and bring it up. Jonathan, six can't go into two. But how many times can six go into 26? Um, it can go four times. Perfect, and that's 24. We subtract, we get two. Am I done? Uh, no. No, I have to bring down my four. Hey, look at this, Jonathan. How many times does uh, six go into 24? Uh, four. four times, it's 24, we get zero. Perfect, four and four tenths is our answer. Nathan, let's do this one. Which number goes inside the house, Nathan? I love the academic way. 54 and 4 tenths, so 1 and 7 tenths is outside. What do I have to do now, Nathan? Nice. I like how we said it. Move it over the 1 and 7 tenths to the right once and do the same to the 54 and 4 tenths. Excellent. So how many times 
does 17 go into 54? Because we know it doesn't go into 5. So how many times does it go into 54? I got 3. Perfect. 3. That's 51. We subtract, we get 3. How many times does it go into 34? Uh, Perfect. 2 times. That's 34. We get 0. Hey, look, we're done. We just get our answer to be 32. Excellent. Anna Jolene, which number goes inside our house? Um, 8.424. Yeah, 8 and 424 thousandths. So outside is 36 hundredths. How many bunny hops do I need to do on the outside? Two. Perfect. So what am I going to do on the inside? Uh, do two bunny hops. Also two. Perfect. And I just bring my decimal up. We know 36 does not go into 8. So how many times does 36 go into 84? 2, which equals 72. So it goes in 2 times, which is 72. What do you get when you subtract it? Um, 12. Yeah, we get 12. I'm going to bring down my 2. How many times does it go into 122? I subtract, and what do I get? Uh, you get 14. And then I bring down the 4. And how many times does it go into 144? 4 times. And that is? 23.4. It, well, that, no, I mean, our answer, you're correct, because it's oh, a... Um, that's... It's the 144, we get 0. You're perfect, yes, because as you were saying, the answer already, Miss Smarty Pants. 23 and four tenths. Excellent work. Excellent work, you guys. So we have these problems. So Emma, which number goes inside the house? 0.0063. Perfect, 63 ten thousandths. So as we know, the seven thousandths goes on the outside. How many times do I have to move my decimal? Two. Perfect. Three. Yeah, three. One, two, three. I'm going to just change it up because I can't fit it. So I'm going to put a seven there. And I'm going to go one, two, three. There we go. There's my decimal. Perfect. How many times does seven go into six? Zero times. Zero. What about 63? Um, nine times. And what is that? Zero point nine. Well, yeah, what it, it goes in nine times. That's 63. Zero. Perfect. How do we say that number academically, Emma? Nine tenths, yes! Look at you guys are rocking it. So Jack, let's do yours. Which number goes on the inside? Um, 0 0.009 or nine thousandths. Perfect, so as we know, 18 hundredths goes on the outside. How many times am I gonna bunny hop? Twice. One, two, one, two. How many times does it go into zero? Um, zero times. How many times does it go into nine? Zero times. Oh, but I'm out of numbers, so my answer is zero, right, Jack? Nope, you put a decimal. Oh, I don't put a decimal, I put the zero. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Zero, and then you add a decimal. Don't need the decimal, decimal's up here. But yeah, sorry. It's okay. Um, and then, so eight, so 90 um, divided by 18 equals five. So yes. Point zero five or five hundredths. Perfect, Jack. I'm sorry, I was confused about the decimal. I actually can't. So, Jasmine, what number goes on the inside? 52. The 52. Perfect. So, the four tenths goes on the outside. How many times do I have to bunny hop? Twice. Technically, yeah, because I bunny hop once on the divisor, and then what I do to the divisor, I do to the dividend. Hey, you guys, when there's no number, what number is it? When there's no number, what number is it? Yeah, it's our zero. So let's see, Jasmine, how many times does four go into five? 13. One time, that's four. I subtract it, I get one. I bring down my two. Here's what you were saying. How many times does four go into 12? Excellent, we get three. And that's 12. You guys, am I done though? 
No, I still have this last zero I have to bring down. Jasmine, how many times does four go into zero? Zero. Zero times. So our answer is 130. Yes, Jasmine, yes. Okay. Clara, what about you? What number goes on the inside? Numbers on the inside? Five and six tenths. So we know that 14 hundredths is on the outside. How many times am I going to move the decimal on the outside? Three times. One, two, three. So I do the same inside. One, two, three. Remember, when there's no number, it's zero. 14 does not go into five. How many times does it go into 56, though? Four times. And what is that equal to? Four, 14 times four is? Six. 56. Zero. So my answer is four, right, Clara? Yeah. So my total answer is four at the very end? No. Oh no, what do I have to do? You have to break down the zero. How many times does it go into zero? Zero times. Okay, I gotta bring down another zero. How many times does it go into zero? Zero times. That's it, we're done. Yes, Clara, it is 400. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So Ben, what's on the inside? Oh, his mic's not working, but we're just gonna, I, I'm gonna have him write it in the chat. We're gonna have this. Yeah, so it is, we put the 11 and 2 tenths in the inside and the 7 hundredths on the outside. With your fingers, Ben, how many bunny hops am I gonna do to the outside? Two, we go one, two, we go one, two. When there's no number, it's a zero. It does not go into one. It does not go into 11. Ben, how many times can you show me on your fingers does uh, it go into 112? Do you know how many times? I don't think you have enough fingers, but type it in the chat. How many times? A dummy seven does go into 11. How many times does seven go into 11? He's right. It goes in one time. It's seven. I'm being a dummy. Four, 42. That goes in six times. As he's right, that's 42. We bring down our zero. We have zero. Excellent work, Ben, with the broken microphone. Perfect. Isabella, what number goes on the inside? 0.4. Perfect. Four tenths on the outside is 25. How many times do I have to move my decimal? Um, two do, times? Do I even have to move it? No. No, there's no decimal in the divisor, so I don't have to move it. So I just bring my decimal up. It does not go into zero. How many times does 25 go into four? It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit, so again we get zero. I add a zero. How many times does it go into 40? One time. Perfect. One time. That's 25. We get 15. We got to add another zero. Do you know how many times it goes into 150? It goes in exactly six times. Perfect. Our answer is 16 thousandths. 16 thousandths. So, Jaden, which one goes on the inside? 200. Not the 200. It's the six and 24 tenths. 200's on the outside. But do I have to move my decimal at all, Jaden? No. Nope. It does not go into six, right? No, it doesn't. Does not go into 62. But how many times does it go into 624? Three times. Perfect. 600. We get 24. Add a zero. I bring it down. How many times does it go into 240? 240. Um, one time. Perfect. 200. I get 40. I add another zero and bring it down. Jaden, how many times does 200 go into 400? Two. Two. That's 400. Yes! 
Look at that, we get 312 ten thousandths. So this one, about how many times as many Among Us players are there in Japan than in Spain? I'm gonna do this one really fast for us. So what we wanna know is we're going to be dividing Japan by Spain. So we've got 127 and 26 tenths, or 26 hundredths, divided by 40 and 4 tenths. 127, 26, 40.4. On your fingers, you guys, how many times am I gonna move my decimal on the outside? On your fingers, how many times am I gonna move it on the outside? Just one. So I move it, just one. And if we're doing this, like I said, I just wanna get through this and we can slow it down in the video. You can pause it. It does not go in here. It does not go in here. It does not go in here. It goes in three times there. It goes in three times. We bring up our decimal there. So it goes in three times. We end up finding it goes in later 15. So we have it like that. We get three and 15 hundredths. Miss Diaz is sus, yo. Miss Diaz is sus. Here's our guided practice. We have this. So while we didn't have time in class, the students wrote their answers in the chat. So we know here we've got three and 69 hundredths divided by three tenths. I move my decimal once here, once here. It goes into three one time, that was three. It goes into six two times, that was six. And it goes into nine three times. 12.3 or 12 and three tenths. Here, super annoying one, zero, zero, three, three, eight. On the outside, 1.3, 1 and 3 tenths. We move it over once, we move it over once. We already know it's gonna be a zero on the outside. It goes in zero times here. It goes in two times, that's 26. I subtract that and I get seven. I bring down my eight. I bring down my eight and I get that it goes in exactly six times. Here, we get the two and 943 thousandths divided by two and seven tenths. I do one bunny hop here, one bunny hop here. 27 does not go into two, but it goes into 29 one time. We subtract, we get two. It does not go into 24, but into 243, it goes in exactly nine times. So like I said, I'm doing it fast, but we will do it together. Alicia bought five and 75 hundredth yards of fleece fabric to make blankets for charity. She needs one and 85 hundredths of a yard of fabric for each blanket. How many blankets can she make? So we're splitting this amount by this amount. I have to double hop, one, two, one, two. Same to both of them, same to both of them. So when I divide it, I find out that it goes in three times so far. It goes in three times. I get 500, let me see, 55, which leaves me with 20 left over. But there's my decimal right there. Can I have part of a blanket, you guys? Can I make like part of a blanket or do I need to make a whole blanket? I need to make a whole blanket which means that she can only make three blankets. Technically, we would get down and it would be three point blah, 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 but we, we can only make whole blankets. So your homework is page 243, numbers one through seven.